Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the socket programming. Let's recall what is socket. Socket is an interface between application and network. It is an interface to entry point of any of the network layer. An application create a socket for the transferring message from the one layer to the another layer. Two type of the socket. The first one is TCP socket. It give reliable transmission. Second one is UDP socket. It give unreliable transmission. Once the application is configured for the data transfer, then it can pass the data through the socket for the transmission. And the receiving side, it received the data from the socket in network. So from the one host, send the data using socket and pass to the another host or different host and that host receive the data using socket. In this figure, the application process send the data to the socket for the transmission and the receiving data from the socket it received from the lower layer means transport layer to the application process. So in type of the socket, there is two type of the socket. The SOC stream means TCP socket. Second is SOC digram socket means UDP socket here. When we are using TCP protocol, so it give reliable delivery and UDP protocol services then it give unreliable delivery using this socket. In order guarantee in SOC stream socket or TCP socket and the no order guaranteed in data sequence packet. In order guaranteed means the data packet coming in sequence in proper manner and in that the data packet not in order. The connection oriented when we are using TCP socket. The connection less when we are using SOC digram or UDP socket. In SOC stream TCP socket it is bidirectional. SOC datagram or UDP socket it is a unidirectional. Let's see in this figure. See it is bidirectional or proper in order. And in socket digram socket it's unidirectional. It not connection oriented. It connection less. So unreliable delivery might be data loss. Let us summarize application layer unit. You have studied principle of computer application. In that you have studied the browser, web server, email and P2P application etc. After that you studied the what is the protocol layer services. What protocol layer services? After that you have studied the protocol layer uses transport layer services. The transport layer services is TCP services and UDP services. After that, in web, you have studied the web pages and their objects like HTML, JPGs or MP3s. Then you have studied HTTP. In that, that you have learned TCP connections, persistent or non-persistence. It used port number 80, request and response message format, cookies, web cases, file transfer protocol, etc. In email, it use user agent, mail server, SMTP. You have studied how SMTP works. Simple mail transfer protocol. It use port 25. And in FTP, it use port 21. So in email, you can also learn about the POP3 for the downloading message and IMAP protocol for the mail access protocol. After that, you have studied DNS systems. So means Domain name systems server. It resolved the IP address from the domain name by either host name or IP address. And you have studied the distributed database hierarchy structure. Also, you have learned the hierarchical structure, the distributed database system and single central distributed systems. Distributed systems is more preferred compared to single centralized distributed systems. After that, you have studied socket programming with TCP and UDP. In that, 
when you are using TCP socket then the function is shock stream when you are using UDP socket then it is shock digram thank you in next video we will study about transport layer services and its protocol